Okay, uh, think about that. Here we have our move and use. Here we have a list. We move it, nothing happens. What happened was that a list is an identifier on that list. When we move a list, then the label is also on that list. But here we're, we are reassigning the label to anything. Nothing happened in our collar. When we do use, that label now is on the list. It goes to one th item and it puts in a smiley. You want to realize that the beauty of this mutable type is that we have communicated this action back to the caller. When we print out a list, back in the caller we see it has a smiley. Oh, identifiers on a list see the same list. Whatever you do to it, they all see it. Here we have a tuple. We move it, nothing happens. We use it, we get that tuple object does not support item assignment, but nothing happened in the collar. There is that tuple. We have a few more. We have a string, the bird. We move it, and again, nothing happens. We just move the identifier onto a different string. Here, we still see that the string is the bird. If we try to use it, that means we're going to go into that eye there and put in a smiley. Well, that crashes. But nothing happened to the bird. Here we have a number. The same thing. Nothing happens. But when we do use, and we try to get into that number to put in a smiley, crash. But nothing happened to the number and the color. Okay, I hope that gave you a little stronger vision of the difference between mutable and immutable, or even the point of it. I'll see you in the next lab, quite a bit bigger. A lot of fun coming up.